winners. Thank you very much, guys. With that final victory locked in, the 2014 World Champions are confirmed. I am joined here by OG and Shoutcaster, Chopra and Translator, who will be helping us with the translations we send over to OGN's famed Hypecaster Jun to kick off the closing ceremony. All right, so as we kick off the awards ceremony of the 2014 World Championship, we'd like to introduce some very special people. And first up, of course, we do have the co-founders of Riot Games, Brandon Reisbeck and Mark Trindamir Merrill, also joined by the country manager of Riot Korea. It's going to be Woody Ree on the stage to present the awards for the 2014 World Championships. And we'd like to thank everyone once again for making this event possible, you know, going all the way from Taipei, then to Singapore, to Busan, two venues in Seoul. And now we have concluded the 2014 World Championship. And on behalf of everyone involved in making this event happen, I'd like to thank all of you fans of League of Legends for making this 2014 World Championship possible. And now to bring the spotlight back to the champions of the 2014 World Championship. We're going to invite the 2014 World Champions. It's going to be Samsung White. And we'll get to meet, of course, all five players one by one as they do deserve that time here on stage. First up, it's going to be from top lane, Looper. Definitely impressive as the tournament went on. Pulled out those unique picks in the semifinals, surprising a lot. Definitely laying his mark in that top lane. Absolutely. And... Joining him on stage, it will be from the jungle, Dandy. And Dandy just hailed as the best jungle in the world coming into this tournament, and he's proven it going through to the very end of the finals. On his signature champion, Rengar, no less, just shy of 100% kill participation. <laughs> and in the mid lane, it is Pawn for Samsung White. And, you know, came into this tournament as the guy who took Faker down four times, and he's proven why he should be hailed as the best mid laner in the world. Mid laner that replaced Dade from the same squad that didn't make it out of groups last year. Great performance. And the AD carry for Samsung White. Imp, there he is. Just everyone's most lovable character, probably, as a player, and Imp. Just an explosive AD carry, and he's really been gelling with Mata as that bottom duo. And last but not least, going to be the support player and also the MVP of the World Championship Finals of 2014. It's going to be Mata and just an absolutely well-deserved MVP award. Yeah, mind-blowing performances all throughout Worlds. Can play defensive, can play offensive. I voted for him as MVP. Definitely deserved. And yeah, there it is, hoisting up the MVP award and just a big round of applause for the 2014 World Champions. We will give them a chance for some photos, of course, with the co-founders of Riot Games and the Riot's Korean country manager. But once again, Samsung White, just an absolutely well-deserved, as you guys have been saying, as everyone around the world has been saying, uh, for the 2014 World Championship. And what a way to finish, 3-1 in their home country. Undoubtedly the strongest team in the world. And we will get to hear from the players here in a second. I'm sure they'll have a lot to say, especially after a slight discourse from what most people expected in the finals of a 3-0. They did end up going 3-1 against Starhorn Royal Club. Well, dropping a game, but very excited nevertheless. Photos 
seem to be done. And we'll be getting to those interviews. I'm sincerely hoping we get some stories from Imp and Mata because they are <laughs> more than happy to share them. Absolutely. And all, all the players have had quite a journey uh, in Korea, of course, before coming to the World Championship. But before we go to the interviews, thanks once again to Brandon Beck, Mark Mara, and of course, Woody Ree for making this possible and joining us in the awards ceremony. And now the players will have a chance to speak their minds here in front of everyone gathered for the World Championship. Over 40,000 fans in attendance. Ah. And definitely cheering on the victors. <laughs> yeah, it's been just a crazy journey. And of course, it's going to be first up Looper, who debuted on the World Champion stage last year and carrying through to two consecutive World Championships. I'm just, I'm just so happy right now, you know, standing here. And Jun just saying, you know, isn't that too bland? You just won the finals of the World Championship. You know, give a shout out to the 40,000 people out here on the stage. <laughs> and he says, I'm really happy. <laughs> oh, Looper. I can I can imagine it's overwhelming. <laughs> yes, indeed. Now, Looper, just people have been praising you that you've gotten three times better, four times better. Just so much better. How do you rate yourself? And Looper just saying, well, you know, I, um, you know, I've, I've just been doing my part, practicing hard, and I think this is the reward I get. And, I mean, Looper, you just won a huge prize pool. You get to hoist that Summoner's Cup, and you can just be cool like this? Oh, this, this is just my personality. This is just how I am. Looper has always been known to be a quiet guy, you know, on the modest side. But then we will skip to Dandy, who is usually very outspoken. Uh, hello everyone, uh, you know, InQ Choi, that's my name, and I am, of course, the jungler for Samsung White, Dandy. And I, you know, this is just an absolutely dreamy stage, and to be able to play this game on this stage, I, I just still can't take it in, I'm just thankful. Uh, that we were able to get here and to everyone supporting us. <laughs> and, you know, who'd, who'd you like to thank the most? And Dandy saying my parents. You know, I want to give a shout out to my parents. And, you know, I actually haven't been able to give much back to my parents uh, as a professional gamer until now. Uh, you know, just kind of having to do my own thing and not really being able to communicate with my parents much. And I know there's some, just other people may have misconceptions about what my career is, and it's hard to support me directly, but I'm just very thankful uh, that I was able to stand here and now give thanks back to them as my parents. And next up, of course, Pawn. And how do you feel? I mean, until now, it's been Faker, then Dade being kind of hailed as the best mid, but now you stand here. The crowds cheering that it's Pawn now going to be the best mid, except for Imp, who wanted to kind of chime in and say he thinks Faker might still be out there. <laughs> and, you know, as for me, I've never been able to win champions in Korea. I wasn't able to hoist that cup up, but now here I get to hoist the Summoner's Cup up, so it, it means a lot more, more, uh, lot more to me to have to stand here. And, you know, just how do you feel going up against all these other mid laners around the world? You know, there are people like Faker, x Peke, and Pawn just saying, you know, I, I don't play to take the spotlight. I just do my part. I just play to win with the team. So I think it's hard to kind of compare myself with those players. And Imp, how do you feel? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm stuttering a little bit, but just saying, you know, I, I, I'm just very happy and, uh, you know, being able to get here through, through our skill and with my team, uh, it, it makes me very happy to be here with my team. 
이거 텐타킬 할 때마다 제가 들었던 말인데 댄디 덕분인 것 같아요 댄디 덕분 솔직히 About his pentakill so far the term agent says um, what, I, what I've heard every time I pentakill is actually that uh, it's it's thanks to Dandy. So I, I just gotta give it up to Dandy. And as for Mata, uh, I mean Mata's great too, but I think Dandy set up the pentakills for me. And with Mata, I mean we've been together for quite some time, uh, and probably one of the longer lasting bottom lanes in Korea and in the world. And just thank you so much to Mata. Uh, for bringing me up to this level and also covering up some of uh, my mistakes and you know the parts that I had to improve on. That's very strong. Mata was rubbing his eyes. Uh, we'd like to know you know why you're rubbing your eyes. And, I'm just a little bit tired. <laughs> I just had to rub my eyes a little bit. But I'm sure a very touching moment for him as an older brother. Um, Mata just saying, you know, how I do feel is I want to stop right here. This, this is where I want to stop. Uh, but of course, joking uh, aside in terms of career, I, you know, it's, it's been just a difficult journey uh, to be able to stand on a final stage. Uh, and then we've grown and grown, and this year we got to stand here as the victors on the stage of the World Championship Final. So it means a lot to me. And you know, we, we got to win the World Championship, but I actually want this to motivate us to perform even better in the future. I actually want this to be a turning point for our team. And so, oh, before we wrap up, Mata would also like to actually give a shout out to his parents, just saying, you know, I actually have never mentioned my parents in interviews or any, any opportunity I've had as a professional gamer. So I want to take this chance, you know, thank you so much for being with me. And now everyone wants to turn at the mic. Uh, well, we'll give you the time. In. And just, you know, uh, my teammates, but especially Dandy, who's been with me for uh, two and a half years, just thank you so much for being with me, even when I've just been on the, you know, just down, uh, down low in terms of performance. Thank you so much for sticking with me. You know, Looper, thank you so much for just holding true in that top lane. Of course, Pawn also just doing your part every time and I have to uh, give a huge shout out to Mata and Dandy would like to say uh, you know I also want to give a shout out to our coach you know it's not just us five you always see on the stage it is home, really bringing us together, actually putting in just as much work, if not more, uh, to bring us to this level. So I want to give a shout out to him alongside Imp, and also Dandy giving a huge just shout out and praise to his mid and top laners, Bon and Looper. But once again, these are your 2014 World Champions, Samsung White. <laughs> Coming prepared, of course, with their banner and shirts, ready to storm the stage. And it's been a long five-week journey getting here across different regions, but this marks just the wrap-up of the 2014 World Championship. And we'd like to thank everyone. However, of course, we're not done yet here at the World Championship stage. Please, please welcome once again, Imagine Dragon